Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I wanted to talk to you about one of my wedding centerpieces. You may have seen this product in one of my previous videos. It currently resides on my bedroom windowsill. So when I did the clean with me video, it was there. Um, the reason that I use it there is because I absolutely love it so much. So after my wedding, I'll be will be it will be staying there as home decor. Um, but this is the actual product. So the teapot itself is actually a planter as you can see it's massive uh, which I got from the range and the roses that are inside have all been individually made from ribbon so I'm going to show you a tutorial today on how to make these roses yourself uh, they can be used for bouquets however you would prefer to use them um, so I have that one which is in teal, grey and silver roses for my wedding which will go on the centrepiece and I also have a little hat box which I've made previously which also sits on my uh, fireplace in my living room. Um, I also made one of these for my mum as well for Mother's Day. She had a grey one which is a smaller version as she has in her living room. So stick around, stick with me and I will show you how we make the ribbon roses. Hi, so in order to make the ribbon roses, you will need the following equipment. Some ribbon, which is 45 millimeters wide. A card, which is credit card size. I'm using my Boots Advantage card. A lighter, a pair of scissors, and for the rose stems, I use wooden kebab sticks. If you are doing a project where you only need a short stem, I tend to just cut the kebab sticks in half and each one will do, serve for two roses. So the first thing you're going to do is take your ribbon and you're going to wrap it around your credit card shaped object. You will need approximately 12 of each one. So each petal is going to be this size for each face. Uh, I have completely lost count so I'm going to guess. <laughs> Okay, once you've done that, you're then going to cut it off. You will ideally need a sharp pair of scissors to cut through the ribbon. I have children and they have all stolen my scissors and I am left with some duller ones. And then cut through the top. And again on this side. like so. So then you are left with these individual items which are going to be your petals. You'll be turning those into the rows. Okay. So we'll start on one. So take your lighter. And what you're going to do is basically just singe the edge just so it prevents any of the fraying like that. Okay and it instantly stops any fraying from occurring. And do the same on both sides like that then take one corner here fold it over like so then take this corner and it's going to go in that shape if you can see to make sure then once you've got these lined up you take this triangle bit melt it slightly and if you light it and press it stays attached and then you will take this bit the exact same melt it slightly and press it down so there that stays attached I'll show you on the opposite side so fold this over here and then fold the corner over to the center there you can however do both of them together but if you are just starting out it's best to just do one at a time okay and then again and press down didn't do that one enough
So once you've got each individual petal, you are then going to take these and your lighter and just singe across the edges just to prevent any fraying. It doesn't matter if they are not entirely straight, as you can see. Okay, then we're going to start shaping our petal. So take one corner and fold it over. So it's nice and even. And then you're going to just slightly singe the corner and press it down so that it stays in place. And then you're going to take this corner, this will be bending over into the center. So if you very lightly melt there and press down like so. Hopefully you can see. Okay, and I'll show you on the opposite side as well. So you're going to bend, fold this side over there, gently melt that and just press it into place and again on this side so that will be folded over onto here okay so there is one petal and I will show you with the others in order to make a rose you will need 12 petals in total so I'll show you once more with this so fold it over lightly melt and press down melt and press down Once you've been doing it for a while, you can just melt the two of these edges together. Like so. Okay, I'm quickly going to go through and do the rest. We will have a little time lapse and I'll see you when you've done them all. So now we have all of our rose petals here. For every rose, you ideally need about 12 petals in total. So for this next step, you're actually going to need a hot glue gun. And you will also need one of your wooden kebab sticks. Okay, so <clears throat> you will be taking each one of your petals and you will be gluing them together using these corners so first of all you're going to take your first petal put a small dab of glue simply attach like this okay so this is how it looks on the opposite side as long as the bases line up don't worry too much about it if it it will start to curve round don't worry so again, it's a tiny dab here. I am also running out of glue. Oh. Oh, also, just to pre-warn you, these get really messy with the hot glue gun. I get a lot of glue gun spiderwebs. So now we've organized and got all of our petals in a row. We're going to then attach them using the hot glue gun onto our kebab stick. So firstly, you're going to turn these over because it's going to be this side that you're actually going to glue. 
and I will show you how I attach the kebab sticks. Now you're going to, if you obviously want to insert it into something, you're not going to want to glue the pointy bit. But if you're not, you can always, you choose whichever end that you would prefer to put it on. I'm going to be um, using the dull end of the kebab stick to attach my flower to. So I'm just going to put a line of glue down here and across the bottom here. And then I'm going to take the stick and just put it into the glue there and simply roll. So that attaches the kebab stick as firm as it needs to be. And then it's just a case of gently doing one or two petals at a time. My glue is running out, so I'm trying to put a fresh one in. And just rolling it along like so. You can decide whether or not you'd like your roses to be quite tight together or if you'd like it to be a larger rose. Just if you choose for a larger space rose, bear in mind that the petals will become loose and you will be able to see through them at the bottom. And just continue to roll and glue until you reach the very end. And you may be able to hear on the video that Harry has just woken up from his nap. Okay, and then at the end, just do a little line there and attach it across. And there you have your finished rose. So here is the finished rose, which you can use to create any of these items. I'll make your own um, rose bouquet, Valentine's gift, Mother's Day gift. Choices are endless. I hope you really enjoyed the DIY tutorial with me today. Um, I will be doing a paper rose tutorial coming up soon. Um, so please like and subscribe and stick around and I will speak to you soon.